graph quadratic function. We are given a quadratic function in the form of y equals to x minus 1 times x plus 3. I am Anil Kumar and I will show you the steps required to graph such a quadratic function. As you know, graph of a quadratic function should be a parabola. From the given equation, it seems that a, the leading coefficient is 1 and therefore the graph should open upward. So we are expecting a graph like this for the given equation. Now we can start with the x-intercepts since the equation is given in factored form. So we got two x-intercepts, one at x equals to 1, that is this point, and the other one is at x equals to minus 3. So that is the given point, minus 3. Now another important point is always the vertex. To find the vertex, we know it should be midway between these two. So midway is calculated by x equals to 1 minus, I should add plus minus 3, divide by 2, right? That gives us minus 2 divided by 2 as minus 1. So the vertex lies at x equals to minus 1. Let's find the y value at x equals to minus 1. So y is equals to minus 1 minus 1 times minus 1 plus 3. That gives us minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4. So the vertex is at minus 1 minus 4. Minus 1 minus 4 is the given point to us. Now since a value is 1, we know steps, we know a equals to 1. Therefore the steps involved are 1, 3, 5, 7. Now these steps will also verify whether till now whatever we have got is correct or not. So that is to say that from vertex, if I move one step away, I have to take one step tops. So that is my first point. The second point should be three steps over, right? So three steps, one, two, three, that's perfect. So these are other points. And beyond this, one, three, five is the next step. So the next step will be there for us. So that is how we can get our parabola from the given equation, right? So let's join these points. So we can join these points with a smooth curve. So if you look at the point and move your pen, you will go through them in a very smooth way. So that is how you can get a parabola. Remember to put arrows at the end since the range of this parabola extends till positive infinity, right? So domain is all real numbers, but range extends to positive infinity, right? So that is why the arrows at the end are very important. Well, for some of you, what you can also do is, you can just make a table of values. Select few points for x, right? And then, you know, y equals to x minus one times x plus three. For those values of x, you can find the different values of y and joining them will give you a good graph. But I'll prefer this method. Locate x-intercepts, then the vertex, and then follow the steps, which is 1, 3, 5, 7 in this case, to sketch a smooth parabola representing the quadratic function. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.